everybody, I'm Andrea Lee, and in today's video I'm going to show you this really natural glowy look. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna call it yet, but you already know from the title. I bought this top not too long ago and I thought it has such a pretty color and I was thinking that I should do a very nude, very glossy as you can see, the highlighter is shining from the spine. I also wanted to stay away from the warm tones. I mean, it's not like I'm using grays, but still, it's a little bit more on the cool tone side. I'm going to stop talking right now. Please make sure that you're subscribed to my channel before we get into this tutorial and click on that ring bell button this way you will be notified every time i'm posting a new video now let's get into this tutorial i've already prepped my skin using this vitamin enriched face base from bobby brown great base although it's very hydrating i don't know what it does but your foundation lasts the whole day it's a great great product as for foundation i'm going to use uh, for the second time the marc jacobs shameless foundation. I'll use the shade medium Y340. This foundation claims to set by itself, to be giving you a very youthful look, long wearing. I've only wear it for like two hours, therefore I'm willing to give it a second chance. By the way, you find the list of every single product that I'm, that I'm using in the description down below, so check that out. Please. With my beauty blender, I'll take some of the foundation and I mean, it's not bad. Uh, this is not my color, but it's okay. I'll work with it. Probably need something with a more neutral tone. As you can see, I've self tanned and I did it last night. I was in such a hurry and my hands are totally orange. Decent coverage. Uh, I would say not crazy, but decent glowy so far. Let's see when it sets I've applied this foundation all over and as you can see Check out the difference. It's definitely not my color But the other one that I have the other color that I have is way too light. This is Y210 I need something a little bit more neutral other than the fact that it's way too dark, but I'll make it I'll make it work with uh, some lighter concealer and the powder. I think it's gonna work. It definitely sets uh, Pretty quick. I would say my only problem with foundations in general is on my chin and around my nose and the tip of my nose at the end of the day usually I have no foundation in these places so far so good all right, the next product that I'm gonna use is the Laura Mercier flawless fusion ultra Longwear concealer. I've tried this concealer before and I really liked it This is in 3W. It's not as full coverage as I thought mm, I need something a little bit more yellow. Let me add a little bit of 2N Oh, yes what I've noticed about this concealer is that even if you apply a little bit more, like if you're heavy-handed, it still looks good. I'm blending with a damp beauty blender. Always use your beauty blender damp. The foundation is pretty natural, actually. I will apply that concealer on my eyelids as well. What's left on my beauty blender? All right, so this concealer, it's not very thick as... Tarte, the Shape Tape Concealer. I would compare it sort of kind of with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Now I'm going to contour, well not really contour, with this one I'm just warming up the skin. This is the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate Intensity 1. I would say this is a beautiful bronzer slash contour. I'm using it with a G40 brush from Morphe. Everybody's asking me about this brush. It's, it's pretty good, I have to admit. And I apply it on the hollows of my cheeks, like so. Ooh, can you see that this brush actually blends for you? So good. I'm going to apply the same Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate on my forehead. Now with this tiny synthetic brush, this is a 225 brush from Zoeva. I'm going to contour my nose with the same using the same product from Tom Ford I 
I like to blend it with a beauty blender. I don't like to have any harsh line. Because then my whole face has this beautiful bronzy look and my nose is white. I make sure I apply a little bit like right here under. I've got this new powder that I'd like to try. This is the Givenchy Prisma Libre. I think this is the way you pronounce it. Such a beautiful packaging, we have to agree. And you actually have four different powder colors. And when you mix them all, you know, you get this color right here. I've literally just applied all of them in here. And then I mix them together. And now I'll just take my Hakuhoto brush, take a little bit of powder from my palm. I've gotta make sure no product creased in here. And then immediately, like right after I do this step, I set everything with powder. I'm going to set my eyelids as well with the same powder. I will apply some glow and I'll use this iconic illuminator. This is so powerful, like no joke. I'm using the color original and I will take it with my beauty blender. I'll apply it on the highest points of my face. Oh my god, this looks so beautiful and so natural. I love liquid highlighters. I find them to be a little bit more, not natural, but just more realistic. As if the skin is really glowing. How about we use it on the body a little bit? Wow, this is no joke. Ooh, sexy. I mean, I would have to do like this in order for you to see my collarbones. I'm not skinny enough for that. I'm then applying highlighter like all over. Look at this. I do have a quick mention. If I look better on my face, this powder has played me. Wherever I've applied it, everything became darker. But other than that, it's not a bad product. I just don't like the color necessarily. I'm going to do my eyebrows off the camera and if you want to see an updated eyebrow tutorial, I'm just going to link it right here, okay? I'm going to use this palette from Makeup Geek. This is in the Nude, that's the name of the palette. First color that I'm going to take is this one in the middle, it's called Buffed. This is such a pretty palette of nudes very very beautiful so i'll take that color buffed and i will apply it all over my eyelids with a 217 brush now with a morphe m433 i'll take this color right here it's called creased this one i'll apply it on the outer corner so outer corner and then on the lower lash line, like this shape. This is very flattering for my eye shape. Then I will take tan lines with the same brush. Then with the 238 brush from Zoeva, I will apply the same color at the base of my lashes. This color right here, this is called Cabin Fever. Even now this color that I've applied right here. That same color, I will apply it right at the base of my lower lashes. Then with a clean blending brush, I'm just blending the edges, like so. I truly love this color combination. It's so soft, but you know, I feel like it's so different. I'm taking this matte color right here. I think this is so pale on my inner corner. You've seen me using this tiny little mascara from Too Faced. Now I have like 20, that's why I'm using it. So Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara.
Wow, the difference is huge. And I've only applied like one coat. I will apply mascara on my lower lashes as well, but I'm just gonna wait for my mascara on my upper lashes to dry. Meanwhile, I wanna figure out what lipstick I'm going to wear. I've got this Makeup Geek lipstick, Jet Setter. Mmm, not bad. But I do need a lip liner with this. I can't without a lip liner. Oh my god, this is so perfect for this look. I'm using MAC Lip Liner Oak. And I am heavily overlining my lips. Okay, I left my hair down and uh, just so that I can see the overall look. And I feel like I need false lashes. And you know what? I'm really into these no name. I don't know what brand are these made in Indonesia. I got a bunch of these. They originally look like this, but I cut them and yeah, love these lashes. They're so natural and they're perfect for my eyes. I'm going to put them on and be right back. Look how white my teeth look and the white of my eyes. I love so much the way this whole look turned out, but I'm not done. Let's apply <laughs> a little bit more highlighter. I'm going to use this Dose of Colors highlighter. This is in collaboration with Desi Perkins and Katie. This is in the color Mirame. I'm going to use this Morphe M532 brush. I'll apply this on the highest points of my face. This looks wet. This is so strong. Oh yes! Setting spray! I don't need more glow, but I just need all the powders that I've used to like melt in my skin. So I'm gonna use the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. This is a beautiful, beautiful mist for those of you that have normal or dry skin type. Also for combination skin type works, but if you're oily, you're not gonna like this. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this look. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on that so you will be notified every time I'm posting a new video. That is usually two times a week. Please follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook if you want to see more looks, if you want to know more about me, or if you just want to follow me around in Paris because I show everything. Thank you so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Really? You don't have a plate for me? Thank you. Mm. This is a good one. Is that all you have? I can't say no to these. This is my favorite. I mean, everything with sugar and flour, that's my favorite. But because I want to lose some weight, I'm only gonna eat one. Recharging. We're not promoting alcohol during the day, right? Just during the night. Okay, take it back.